So you guys seen the thumbnail and the title, bro. It's about to get real spicy down below in the comment section. I can't wait to see everybody's thoughts and opinions. We about to talk about the best five, the top five Air Jordan 1s to drop in 2023. And I happen to have all five of them, or the five that I think is the top five. So sit back, relax, and let's jump right into it, man. What's going on, YouTube, man? Thanks for tapping into another video from your boy, The Vintage. Like I said, we might be talking about the top five original ones in my opinion you feel me quick disclaimer in my opinion i know we got some crazy jordan ones but i'm gonna talk for the you know what i'm saying for the people in the back of the crowd you feel me? i mean the ones that didn't get those hype crazy sneakers the top five that i feel like were you know easy accessible super super dope and maybe one or two of them may have might you know might have been a little bit more slept on than i initially thought so uh yeah man if you guys miss the channel right now i need you to do hit the notification bell subscribe to the channel first you know subscribe hit the notification bell and then leave a huge like on today's video you guys want the likes go a long way it shows youtube you guys are enjoying the content and make sure you guys go tap into outrank brand they have a lot of dope stuff they still have some some pieces left some little, you know essential pieces for the last couple of sneaker drops that they did and they are doing a giveaway man so go check out outring brands ig they're gonna be doing a giveaway it's super simple steps on that instagram post i'm gonna put it on my story so you guys know exactly which giveaway and which post i am talking about man so i'm gonna link them down below their ig their website and of course use the code advantage always you know what I'm saying the vintage to save you that 10 percent off all right man the time has come the intro's over we about to talk about the top five Jordan ones. Ooh, I can't wait. I can't wait till y'all see this. I, I hope y'all don't skip. And I'm gonna try to give you guys my best reasoning why I chose this top five, man. So a little bit earlier this year, man, we got a crazy Air Jordan one that, you know, look a lot like a Chicago. And it wasn't Chicago. It was the Air Jordan one Spider-Verse 2.0s, man. Super super dope and the reason why i really wanted to add this note here is because it wasn't that hard to get but it also was a lot of hype behind the sneaker you guys know we got the movie across the spider verse and then you know nike was like you know we got some dope jordan one and prior to us getting this jordan one uh the spider verse or the next chapters whatever you want to call it uh the mock-ups the pictures were terrible like i'm talking about terrible and then we finally get a finished product you know what i'm saying you got the uh, iridescent vibes you got the the dope you know shiny nike swoosh on it you got some different materials and it definitely came out 10 times better than those first rumored images of the next Spider-Man Air Jordan 1, man. And I, I'm, I'm just being real. Like, this is a super nice colorway. They did their thing. I take my hats off the of Jordan brand because those first mock-ups that we've seen, bro, I'm telling you, they were horrendous. And I was talking so much trash about them. And now that we finally got them in hand, I said, bro, definitely a top Jordan 1 of the year. You know what I'm saying? You got the, the glow-in-the-dark outsoles. If you guys do not know, these glow-in-the-dark, too. Like, bro, there's some crazy things with these Air Jordan 1s. I feel like it should be noticed as, you know what I'm saying, one of the top Jordan 1s of the year. So here goes the first one. You guys remember this thing about that? Spider-Verse Next Chapter 2.0 air jordan ones i can't wait to read you guys comments man all right guys next we have a jordan one i swear i had this shoe for so long and i had it so long before the actual drop man and uh i feel like this was slept on a lot more than it is but when y'all see picture of these when y'all see it fits of these uh with these on feet it, it's just a no it, you can't miss you can't miss with them and it is the air jordan one wash black the wash heritage the black heritage whatever you want to call them so many names circulator for this sneaker right here but the final verdict man i definitely have to give these top five i have to give these top five bro it's an all-around go you can wear this all year long you can rock a, a bunch of different outfits and it's crazy because the homie uh he got kicks man he wore these with like some brown minimal pants and like uh i think he had like a dope white tee up top but you know what i'm saying to see the color contrast in the brown to the you know the smoke gray and the white and the off white and the cell laces was just a crazy crazy hit definitely a banger and like i said i can't wait to throw these things on feet get a nice fit at them y'all will see these pretty soon over on ig man wash black air jordan ones super super dope gotta be up there in the top five and i ain't ranking these one through five i'm gonna tell y'all what the top five is if that makes sense all right you guys probably know it was coming you know it was coming sooner than later a shoe we recently just got and i was like bro i gotta see these first before i say they better than this one and uh we finally have them the air jordan one 
UNC toe, man. And I'm telling y'all, if these joints were to drop back in 2020, 2019, 21 even, bruh, it would be so hard for me to get two pairs. I doubled up, bro. I doubled up on these Air Jordan UNC toes. That's how much I did actually start liking them when I got them in hand. And uh, previously, before this drop, I said, bro, I have too many UNC sneakers. I don't need the ones. And uh, like I said, I got the first pair and I had to get another one on the drop day. See, your boy doubled up on the Air Jordan 1 UNC toes. But are these a top five for y'all? Like I know a lot of people probably won't put this in the top five. I won't even put this in a top 10 of the year, so I can't wait. Like I said, I can't wait to see you guys' thoughts on my opinion of the top five because you can guys can, you know, right now down below, tell me your top five Air Jordan 1s released in 2023 as well, man. All right, man, quick intermission, quick intermission. I got to give you guys an honorable mention. I was looking through the Jordan 1s I copped this year. I said, bro, I forgot these drop, and somebody said in the comments that this is their favorite sneaker, their favorite Jordan 1 to drop this year, and uh, this is an honorable mention. Uh, the Air Jordan 1 True Blues, man. And I didn't go too crazy over them, but after I did, you know, change the laces out, um, after I did throw them on feet, they did look a lot better. And this kind of reminds me of like a Storm Blue Jordan 1 where like they were going for under retail and then later down the line, it was going for so much more. I definitely think that's what's going to happen with these Air Jordan 1s right here for some reason. I don't know what it is. I, I hopefully, uh, you know what I'm saying, I am not right because I know a lot of people did sleep on these. The resale is pretty non-existent. So we shall see what happens with these. I don't mention Air Jordan 1, True Blues, man. All right, man, so another Jordan 1 we got this year that definitely, you know what I'm saying, push a little bit of hype out there, a little bit of, you know what I'm saying, heat out there this summer. The Air Jordan 1 Black Toe Lows, man. And usually a low won't make the top five you know or top 10 of course if, if it's travis scott you know we got a couple of travis scott's this year i not want to add that on this list i want to talk about some of the you know saying the real top five like without the hype the dope you know the dopeness of the colorways and stuff like that so uh yeah and the black toes made it can y'all believe a black tolo made my top five releases for the jordan ones this year i know y'all probably don't but the quality was dope if y'all guys don't know you see over there, I doubled up, man. You see them two boxes over there? I doubled up on these joints right here. I had to, needed them, and uh, I actually wore these uh, when I went to Alabama for the homies. He got Kate's birthday. Put a little picture right here, you know what I'm saying? Something real slight, something real slight uh, with these black tolos, man. So yeah, number four on the top four. Let's get to the last one, man. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. And then last but not least, let's go ahead and get a quick little drum roll. The Air Jordan 1. Palominos, bro. Y'all knew it was coming. Y'all boys knew it was coming. Look at the hits. Look at that mocha suede on the back, bro. This is the number one on the top five. The number one on the top five. I don't think I missed anything. And I checked the calendar for some other Air Jordan ones releasing this year. I said, bro, ain't no other Jordan one better than these five that I picked for today's video, man. But it's all up to you guys' interpretation, up to you guys' opinion. I want to know what you guys think about the top five Jordan ones of the year, bro. It should be an interesting video. I need everybody to comment, bro. Everybody comment. Let me know what they think. Uh, you know, we here to talk about some sneakers. And I, today specifically, I'm talking about the top Air Jordan ones of the year. And I still think that this is the best one. I think it's the best one. Super dope. Super lit. And just know. That review on feed is coming very, very soon, man. I appreciate all the support, man. Thank you guys for tapping in to today's video. Please comment, like I said, and please subscribe to this channel if you're new. And hit the notification bell for your voice and miss on any content that we do drop, man. Give a huge like on today's video. More content on the way. And uh, yeah, man, with all this being said, can't wait to read you guys' comments. Go crazy down below. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace.